Over the last hundred years or so, we have seen an unbelievably rapid advance in technology. And if you have a look within that exact same time frame, we have experienced mass global biodiversity loss with now rapidly mounting environmental collapse, which is resulting in mounting political, social and economic instability because the stability of all societies are inseparable from nature. No human on earth can survive without healthy food, water and air. And those and everything we use or consume on the planet comes from nature. Before being able to understand why this is happening, we have to be able to differentiate between the things we manage and the things we make or manufacture. First of all, we only manage three things. We manage people, economies and our environment. We do not manufacture or produce people, economies or nature. We only manage them. And we do not manage technology. We only manufacture or make it. And then we use it in its millions of various forms as tools to make or produce everything we need from food and clothing to art, music, toothpicks, all the way to spacecraft. All of which help us as we manage our societies and our environment. Now, the things we manage exist in one hugely complex self-organizing whole. Nothing we manage can exist or survive in isolation or on its own. People, economies and nature are interdependent and unpredictable. They have a life of their own and no matter how much we upset the balance, they won't stop. They will adjust and continue, albeit in changed form. But the things we manufacture and produce can exist or be produced independently of one another. And if anything goes wrong with anything we make, we can simply stop using it, stop making it, or we can change it, or we just stop manufacturing or producing it. If we are experiencing rapid advances in everything we manufacture and produce, but equally rapid, equally rapid collapse in what we manage with mounting social, economic and environmental problems, it can only mean one thing. The cause of our increasing global problems is our management. And until recently, we didn't know why, but we now know how and why our management is failing us. In 1983, scientists discovered that every human being on the planet is making every conscious decision the exact same way. And this is because we are all born with and using an identical genetically inherited decision-making process, which is inherent in all tool-using animals. And just like any other tool using animal, our technology also started off as basic stick and stone tools. And our management only involved addressing our basic social needs, desires or problems using our stick and stone technology to help. But things changed for humans when we discovered how to control fire and we could make more and more advanced tools. And as our technology advanced, we were able to start to manipulate our environment. And over a long period of time, we ended up actually managing our environment. And then we added financial dimension and manage economies as well. And as things changed, we needed to manage our countries, societies and nature at scale. So we formed governments and organizations and we had them with various departments and ministries. So if you look at any government in the world, they have a Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Social Welfare, Ministry of Environment, etc. But we have never adjusted our inherited decision making process to broaden the context in which we make decisions 
in order to account for the fact that we were managing increasing complexity and that most of our decisions and all our policies began to involve an impact. Instead, we took our inherited process and we continued addressing our needs, desires and problems from a social context. Then we simply applied the same process and began to address our financial needs, desires or problems in an economic context. And we did the same with our environmental needs, desires or problems, making them from an ecological perspective. We had automatically and completely unwittingly begun to separate and reduce our decisions and policies down into manageable social, economic or environmental parts. But in reality, people, economies and nature are not three separate things that overlap somewhere in the middle, which is how we view and manage them. Those exist as one whole. All life on earth is connected to and entirely dependent on healthy soil and the plant's ability to turn the sun's energy into edible forms. And for centuries, we have been managing our societies, economies and our environment as if they are separate things, reducing them down into these manageable parts. Continuing to have social, economic, environmental and agricultural ministries developing separate policies in separate contexts is just like our government attempting to manage water knowing full well that each molecule of water is made up of both hydrogen and oxygen but then they break those up into manageable parts to form a separate ministry of hydrogen and a ministry of oxygen and then get advice from different experts in either hydrogen or oxygen and developing policies for each in isolation of each other and then wondering why it's going wrong and there's something wrong with the water. Um, so every single time we make any decision for any part of an inseparable whole, it will set off an invisible domino effect of long-term knock-on consequences which won't be seen or felt at the time or place of the decision or policy because we've usually met the short-term objective and we move on to the next decision, never associating the long-term consequences with the decision or policy itself. As a result of this now very outdated decision-making process, at organizational level, agriculture has become the most destructive extractive industry ever, which is absolutely devastating because agriculture is the foundation of all civilization. The whole planet is involved in agriculture. Without it, civilization as we know it cannot exist. So all this boils down to the fact that no nation on earth can have physical or economic stability unless their agriculture is regenerative and no agricultural policy can be regenerative until we update how governments are currently developing policy. Instead of being managed in isolation of each other, all policies must be developed holistically so that all ministries are collectively making decisions in a far broader context in line with a national holistic context which ties the country's social and economic stability to ecological health and ensures that all ministries will simultaneously consider and balance the social, economic and environmental aspects of any policy before putting it through. We know our management is to blame and we have a solution. 
we now need to get world leaders, governments and organizations acting on it.